How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. I'm running out of light, so I'm gonna try to hurry up. In this episode, I have turn signals for the fenders. I'm gonna do this installation on my Honda Core. Those are the turn signals. Link is gonna be in the description. I have my cutting tool, which is equivalent to Dremel, but I'm gonna show you my setup. Extension, Sharpie. I make a little template of what I need to cut. Flashlight, safety glasses, you need that. Also, you're gonna need a tape measure. This is the flat part of the fender, so I'm gonna cut it around here. After that, I just gotta run the cables inside. Either way, you can do it inside the engine bay or under the wheel well. Splice your two cables on the ones for the turn signal. And pretty much that's it. It's not really difficult to do. The only thing is that you need to cut into your fender, which I'm okay with it. This is one of the reasons why after doing the installation on the coilovers, I didn't put my bumper back on the car. Because you need to remove the bumper to get to the turn signal cables. So that's why I didn't put it on. Hopefully I finish on time today so I can put the bumper back on because the right high is pretty much done with the coilovers. So roughly, this is where I'm gonna put the a turn signal. I'm gonna measure from this top line to here and from here to here. So it's gonna give me the exact measurement that I had to replicate on the other side to get the turn signals in the same place. So let me get everything set up and then I'll get back with you guys. So that's the measurement. Two inches from this line on both sides. Two inches from that side. I'm gonna replicate this on the other side and start cutting. This is what I have to cut. I don't have to cut a lot because on these ones this part is gonna sit flush with the fender. It's not going all the way in on this type of turn signals. So that's why I have to cut not a lot. On my cutting tool I have the quick release from Dremel. This is gonna make everything easier. And I have this cutting disc from Dremel as well because everything that came with this tool is really crappy, not good. But you can get stuff from Dremel and save some money by getting this tool. I have no problems with this one. I've been using it for a few years already, no problems. I know what I have to cut now. Everything is being measured, so I'm gonna start doing it right now. Got my two lines. I think I'm gonna drill this side and that side to open it up. Put some clear coat to avoid rust. I made the hole just enough to put it in. So let me pop it off, remove it, so you can see my cutting. Because I still had to put some paint, so we prevent rust. And installation is done. I just gotta run my wires. 
connect them. That's the only cut that I need to do, one for this part, one for the cables, and the other one there is gonna snap in place. So I already removed the fender liner. I just gotta grab my wires, put them inside. This is in place, it's not going anywhere. It looks really good. Okay guys, right now it's really late, it's Sunday, so it's not that late, but I don't wanna bother anybody is 6 14 it's getting dark i don't want to bother my neighbors with all this cutting be honest i love it but i'm gonna have to wait to do the other side probably tomorrow because i don't want to bother anybody to be honest it's sunday everybody try to get some rest and me using the cutting tool is just really loud so you you see a lot of cables in here because my headlights are custom i'm running these little lights i'm running the strip light and I'm running my turn signal it's a lot of cables I'm still working on it that's why I haven't hide everything and I still don't have the bumper once I get the bumper I'm gonna put all my cables down here so nobody's gonna be able to see them something with these lights the I know it was off because when I get them I try them on the battery I connect red with positive and black with negative and it didn't work so I had to switch them I put the red with the negative and I put the black with the positive and that's how these lights work. For some reason, I don't know why, but that's how they work. Well, if you get these lights, because link is going to be in the description, just make sure that when you run your cables, this is the red one from the turn signal, the new one is to the black and this is the black one. And I'm using the same wire that I use for my RAV4 when I did the installation on the fog lights. If you guys haven't watched that episode, I did the whole installation for fog lights. I'm gonna put it right here. On that one, I went to Walmart and I get some wire, 12 gauge wire. I hope you're ready for this. What do you guys think? I just love this. Look at that, it's four lights, four little LEDs for the turn signal, but that's gonna make a lot of difference on the way the car looks now with the fenders like that. I know my wrap is damaged, but it's been just way too cold to fix it. Look at that. I don't know if you guys know, but I run in white turn signals. Uh, probably it's against the law, but I'm still doing it anyways. If you don't know how to do that, guys, I don't recommend you to do it, but I still, I'm gonna put that episode right here because in order to have turn signals this color, I had to open the tail light. If you guys don't know, I have a little orange piece inside. Every Accord has that. I had to remove it in order for me to run uh, LEDs and they look a lot brighter. I used to run amber but I get tired of it and I put white turn signals. I don't recommend you to do this. If you do this guys it's up to you because you might get pulled over. But you see my turn signals they look awesome. And I made a whole episode about this. I turn off the light and now it's just the one on the side. I wish I can do the other one right now so I complete this job, but unfortunately I'm not gonna do it. Same thing on the other side, it's really easy. I had to jack up the car in order for me to put my hands inside and move all the wires. Okay guys, so that's another installation for you. Really easy to do, uh, but it requires to cut in your fenders. Make sure that if you do this, do it right, because once you cut it, you can't go back. And when I turn my lights off, this LED don't work. That's why I don't know if I want to use that strip light again. Um, it doesn't work, but it works when you turn the lights on. Still, I have both going. If you can see, they look really, really good. I hope you like this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.